Hi, welcome to the Monthly Skinny, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. I'm Brad Fisher, president of the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors. Some people talk about the national housing market like it's a static thing, like a toaster. The thing is, there is no national housing market, just like there is no national weather forecast. It doesn't mean national averages don't have their place, but you don't grab a raincoat and an umbrella in Miami based on the weather in Seattle. Like the weather, all real estate is local. As we embark on the fourth and final quarter of 2011, let's take a look at our local forecast. Pending sales increased 37.4% from September 2010 to arrive at 3,752 for the month. Nowadays, purchase demand is being driven by low rates, bargain deals, and let's be honest, favorable year-over-year -year comparisons to 2010. Gains in purchase demand are chipping away at the number of active listings on the market. Inventory levels were down 20.7% to 22,476 units. Markets around the country are shedding supply. It's usually a leading indicator, meaning it precedes improvement in other metrics. Prices were down from last year, which could simply reflect strong sales activity in the lower price brackets. The median sale price decreased 6.9% from September 2010 to 155500 Some finely tuned observers are watching alternative indicators even more so than prices. Why? A number of things need to happen before we return to sustained price growth. For example, the supply-demand balance needs to stay under six months for a decent stretch of time. Absorption rates is just a fancy way of saying how quickly buyers can absorb the active listings. Month supply does a good job of assessing this balance. Last month it was down 22.7% to 6.8 months. A dash of uplifting economic news was overshadowed by debt clouds from the ongoing turmoil in Greece and the threat of bank contagion. Manufacturing activity, construction spending, and overall job growth all picked up in September, temporarily calming fears of the dreaded double-dip storm. As for the lending climate, the Fed's recent Operation Twist helped push mortgage rates to record lows, under 4% for the first time ever. Despite the cheap money, jobs, jobs, jobs should still be the battle cry. That's the Twin Cities Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.